It's our second visit to Knighton Primary School for Year Four's next negative numbers lesson. We've handed the floor over to Anthony and Blue. Teacher Josie Clark's ready and waiting. I thought I was really raring to go and I could do this really easily. I was feeling a little bit nervous. Finger of two. Counting backwards and fives from thirty. Twenty-five. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Zero. Nine. Nine. Hang your heads in shame. I don't have that sort of language in my class. It's not minus, it's negative. negative. We're not allowed to say minus, but we are allowed to say negative. Because if you use minus, it's when you take away from a number. But if when you use negative, it's below zero. What are they? Exterminated! There's lots of different ways we use to sit and do maths. Sometimes the rows do help. So, show me with your hands how you feel about what we've just been doing. That's reviewing what we learnt yesterday. Five should be perfect. Got it. Feeling confident. Four down to three is maybe feeling OK. I think I might need a little bit more practice, but I'm OK. And um, one means I need more help, please. Brilliant. We've got tens. I've always been good at maths, but I haven't really been good at other stuff, like literacy. But I'm getting better at it all. And I'd like to go higher, like, with Anthony, into the hundreds and stuff like that. Because of my literacy, I'm kind of being held back because I can't read as well. The story starter is to establish that zero can be represented in different ways. And holes in the sand are something that is missing, so it's represented by... Everyone tell me. Negative. Negative. One. Excellent. An amount of sand is represented by... One. OK, so I woke up. I saw a mound of sand and a bit further down I saw a mound of sand missing. So I thought just to make my day a bit more interesting, I had my bucket and spade ready. So I went here, I put it all in my bucket, I took it to here and I filled up my hole. So I had one. and negative one. So one mound of sand and a hole put together makes zero. zero. So zero can be substituted by a negative one and a one together. This substitution is essential to solve some problems. Oh! With a little shocked look on your face. Oh! How much is here? Negative one. How much is here? One. How much is here? Negative one. 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 Negative one. one. Zero. Excellent. Let's try again, see if I can catch you out. Zero. 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 Negative one. Sorry. Zero! That's better. Blue's got the substitution idea, but Anthony seems less certain. Zero. Negative one. Zero. 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 Brains and gear, you fool. For some Excellent. people, it might help them when they've got that in front of them, but sometimes you just don't understand what you're really working about. Well, I do understand it, because if I didn't know what negative was, um, Miss Clark would show us the bits, and then we would know what they would look like. So we've got negative two, take away... Two. Blue's hands straight up. But Jose is more interested in Anthony's uncertainty. Anthony, what's the problem? You haven't got any positives, you've only got negatives. Positives or ordinary numbers. 
We've only got negatives. So, would you come up and suggest a remedy for this terrible problem we're in? I'm going to fill in these holes, I am. How are you going to fill in these holes? Anthony needs some way of removing ordinary two. We've got... Negative two. Negative two. What do we have here? Nothing. OK, does that help you? What's another way of showing nothing or zero? Can you use anything from the resource table? Mm -hmm. What cards could we use to symbolise the nothing? We've got this one. What's an alternative to that? When I went up to the front, it was quite scary and it's like your chances shine and you get a bit nervous. It was quite tricky but I got there in the end and I knew what I was talking about. Okay. So Anthony's inserting the value of zero as one and negative one, leaving the total on the table unchanged. Okay, so do you think that's going to solve our problem? You might need one more. Oh, what do you mean you might need one more? Because there's only one negative one. And only one? One. One ordinary one. And how many are we trying to take away, class? Two. Two. So, how much has Anthony added to this? What do we have here? How much is there here? Negative two. Oh, there are some children just about awake. How much is there here? Negative two. How much is there here? Zero. Zero or nothing. So, what would we do next, Anthony? Take away two. We've taken away two ordinary ones, which makes Removing sense, the it? ordinary it's ones so from the cards that substitute for zero yeah. visually shows the process of subtracting that many children get reversed. It's clearly negative four that's left and not zero, as many think, on the maths table. Thank you, Anthony. The idea that negative one and ordinary one can substitute for zero is essential for Blue and Anthony's understanding. Let's see if they've got it. Anthony's not working with his partner, nor is he using the cards. And despite the successful demonstration, he still seems puzzled. What about blue? And then, look, take away negative one. equals zero. Take away negative one. You need to take the negative one and put it on there. Put it then look, 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 look. That's a zero. We take away that. Six. Have you written number eight up? The answer is six. Okay. Come on, I didn't really like working with Reese and Ryan because they wouldn't listen to us and so it ended up me and Jacqueline doing our work by ourselves. But I was including them. Three take away negative two. What could that be? More sibling. Mine or Ryan's? We'd need two zeros, wouldn't we? We'd need two zeros. Two. Two zeros. Take away negative two. Yeah, that's a zero. It's much easier. Got that? How am I meant to take away two negatives? How am I meant to take away two negatives? No, Jacqueline, we take away two negatives, which equals, how much does that equal? Blue's got the principal, but for Anthony, wrong answers to 10 and 11 reveal children's familiar misconceptions. I wrote down the answers that I thought were right, but I got them a lot really wrong. It was really tricky because I always um, did the numbers above the zero instead of below the zero and instead of being a negative. How are we getting on? He's under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on then? Which one are you working on at the moment? That one. Twelve. So which one are you on? Eight. Why aren't you working together? 
he knows all the questions. Are, are you sure? Ah, it's really important that you use these at every step, okay? Don't just guess. I've noticed Anthony's not done number eight either. So how many do we need? Five. Five. Take away, negative one. Can we do it? Yes, but no. Yes, but no. How are we going to do it then? Excellent. Do you understand why Anthony's done that, James? Yeah, because that will equal zero. Perfect. Okay, so what are we going to take away this time? We're taking away negative one. So do you want to do that, Anthony? So what's the answer? Six. Six. Okay, let's have a look through and make sure that Anthony's got those other ones right. I think I'm wrong again. Okay, so what do you need to do now? I felt a bit upset at that stage when I got them wrong and it was a bit humiliating. Blue's using one and negative one as substitutes for zero and getting it right. But partner Jacqueline still needs convincing. I thought it was a five, but it wasn't. Um, Jacqueline thought, no, it's a six, but I knew it was a five something, and she thought it was a six something, so we worked it out because we ended up having to use the board about three times. It did start to work for me using the maths and resource table to work it out because it's a lot more easier and you don't have to remember anything, it's all there. So, I want to know how you feel about it. I want you to show me. Think carefully. Show me how you're feeling at the moment about using negative numbers like this. At the end of the lesson, if you didn't think you achieved as much, you would put, like, four. If you did think you achieved as much as you could, you would put five. If you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve, you would put three. And I had a five. And I had a three. Excellent. Now show me how you thought you were at the beginning of the session with negative numbers. My top tip of the day would be always work nicely with your partners. My top tip is to always make people check their work. I think I'm so good at numeracy, but I guess I was wrong today.